because the market rate is going up. I think that's my case. Not to mention the fact that you are paying more than you need to on a $150,000 credit card that's tied to your home. So I think that there's some urgency here. How important is it? Like, you know, have you been trying to do this for a while? Have you talked to other lenders and pulled your credit, you know, sent your documents in already? Like I said, Daniel, I'm literally running out of time. No, here. I'm already done. I'm gonna send this out to you. Hey, Alex, thanks <laughs> for holding. The reason why you're being connected to me is because I'm actually authorized to provide you with the information you need. I'm actually going to be sending that to you, but before I even send it or begin, let me just ask a few basic questions to make sure that I can even help you. The property that we're going to talk about, this is your primary residence, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So what we're doing is we have a campaign that's in place and we want to make sure if you're entitled to it, I can give you the information so you can activate your entitlement to this campaign. And the reason why you may be entitled is because of where you live. Now, I work with, you know, obviously Quicken Loans. I'm sure you probably heard of us. We are so large that our growth over the last year has enabled us to pass the savings to our clients. And usually the benefits of this campaign are only meant for those that we have worked with before or are servicing. So this is a pretty big deal, but they're being very strict on who they allow in to use this campaign. So I'm gonna save you a ton of time to see if you can even use it. Let me ask you a few questions. The property, besides the mortgage, what other debts do you have? Do you have an equity line or revolving debt? I do have an equity line, but to be honest, Daniel, I was really just, you know, I put my information online to, you know, just figure out some rates and then you guys kept calling me and I'm kind of getting sick of it at this point. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And the reason why we keep calling you is because we have a fiduciary duty to make sure that you're protected because you did it online. You're going to get called from every lender, not just us. And the reason why we were the first one to contact you or try to call you is because this campaign is actually meant for your scenario that you entered in online. But the only reason why you're talking to me first is because I'm licensed to help make sure that it fits and delivers the need you want or you expect. So the good news is after our call, we're going to know all that information. You're never going to hear from us again unless we can help you. So Alex, with regards to the equity line, can I ask you in terms of the financing, was it a purchase money? Like, did you use it? You know, did you open it to buy your house or did you just open it recently? I just opened it recently to do some remodeling around the house. but. To be honest, Daniel, like I said, you know, I'm running late to an appointment right now and I really don't have time for this conversation. I was really just looking for numbers. So if you can't give me that, then, you know, I think we might have to end the call here. No worries. I completely respect your time, which is the reason why I said if I can help you, I'm going to save you a ton of time. The main reason why I'm even asking these questions is because every other lender is not. They're just asking you, you know, what you're trying to do. I'm trying to find out if you can get access to this campaign. So before you go into your meeting, let me just confirm real quick. And this will let me know if we should even move any further. What is the intent? Is the intent to pay off the first and the second? Are you trying to combine it? Are you trying to maximize savings or pay the house off sooner? What do you need done? I was really looking to just combine my first and second and see, you know, like what type of rate I could get with that. Okay, good. Now you mentioned that the equity line was all about home improvement. What did you do to the house? Some new roofing and some vinyl siding on the outside and also needed to put a new fence. Okay, you got everything done. Do you need to do anything else to the house? Yeah, for the most part, I got everything done. Okay, cool. So on the scale of one through 10, what do you think your property is? 10 being your dream home. The wife is picky, so I mean, she's always trying to find new things to add to the home. So. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm married too. So on a scale of one through 10, if you asked her, what do you think she would say? For me, it'd be a 10. For her, it'd be a five. So. <laughs> okay. So for her to be a five, right? So obviously she wants to do things. To be a 10 to her, what does she need to do still? She wants to redo the kitchen. So it looks like I might need to take out a new equity. How much is that going to run you? I've been getting some estimates looking around like 10 to 15,000. All right. Well, the good news is there's two rooms in your household that can really spike the value of your property, meaning you get more equity in your home. And that's the master bathroom and the kitchen. Those are the only two rooms. So that's good. Now, the good news also is that you only need about 10 to 20 and then now you have a 10 in her eyes, right? So let me see if I could show you how to not only combine the property, but spike your property value and your wife will get her new kitchen. 
Because what you're doing is you're going to have to combine the first and second, not only to avoid a compounding rate on your equity line. And do you know what compounding rate means? No. Your equity line is like a credit card. So it compounds interest daily. It's not yearly like a mortgage. So your interest is really based on your balance. What's your balance? Like 150K. Oh, wow. You're throwing <laughs> a lot of money in interest. Let me see. This campaign, Alex, is actually meant for homeowners who are doing what's called a consolidation program meaning that they are leveraging the market to protect themselves for having a higher interest rate on other debts like credit cards or equity lines right in your case you have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar credit card using your home for collateral so i want to show you how to protect your credit and then also your monthly budget now can i ask you with regards to like your monthly cash flow if we considered all of your debts how much of your net income are you currently able to net for your personal checking and savings, like, you know, like emergency money, rainy day. I like to always keep around like 10 to 20,000. You net 10 to 20,000 every month after all bills are paid, or that's how much you have in the bank? That's how much I have in the bank right now. After each month, it's around one to 2,000. Okay, good. And then you only have 20,000 in the bank right now, right? Yeah. Have you noticed that dip? Like, is it going down, staying the same, or is it going up slowly? You know, kind of neutral right now. It's kind of staying the same? All right, so it means that there's a leak somewhere and I'm gonna help you find that. And that's what I need to notate for this campaign. What do you think it is? It's probably hobbies, dining out, kids, life, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, right now it's definitely college wishes, you know, college funds right now with, for my kids. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you net 3000 and you're not really putting anything to savings. How much do you think your total liability is? Like all your bills every month. Do you know what that number is? Not necessarily. Okay, who pays the bills at the end of the month? The wife. Here's my idea. I think that I may be able to squeeze you in this campaign just because of the answers you've given me. No promises though, but if I can, I would be able to show you how to get rid of the compounding equity line of credit that's an adjustable, right? That rate moves with the market. Okay, because the market rate is going up, I think that's my case. Not to mention the fact that you are paying more than you need to on a $150,000 credit card that's tied to your home. So I think that there's some urgency here. How important is it? Like, you know, have you been trying to do this for a while? Have you talked to other lenders and pulled your credit, you know, sent your documents in already? Like I said, Daniel, I'm literally running out of time. No, here. I'm already done. I'm gonna send this out to you. The reason why I'm asking that is because if you're already in process somewhere, then I just need to know what you would consider like worth your time in regards to saying, hey, you know, they got a better deal. That's gonna help me save you time. So. If you're in process already, what do I need to do in order for it to even be worth your time and your wife's? Well, that's the thing. I haven't really had much time. Like I said, you know, chasing around kids and just trying to keep up with that. I haven't really been able to get into processing with any lender. So that's why I just kind of like been shifting away from refinancing. So like I said, hey, I have this appointment coming up. I appreciate your time today. but. Uh -oh looks like I, yeah, <laughs> I appreciate going. your time Alex here's the thing is I'm <laughs> gonna send you some information that's gonna show you how to stop living check to check my concern is that you have cash coming in but you're not actually netting anything for yourself with your cost of living I would imagine you only have about two months or three months of living and because you have kids you have a wife and your wife's not necessarily you know done with the projects plus you have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar credit card against your house subject to a market rate that's increasing there's a lot of risk there. So I think that's the reason why you stayed on the phone with me this long, besides being polite. But to return that favor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a solution that only Quicken can provide. I have to timestamp it when I release it to you because that's how important it is. So when I send it out to you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna verify a few things. Number one is that you qualify before we even begin. And this is gonna require me just making sure that everything fits. So I need to complete a file and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let you go right now. But before I do, let me confirm if just one more thing, okay? Sure. Okay, so in order for me to give you accurate information that's worth your time because, you know, it sounds like you're busy, I need to make sure that dotting my I's and crossing the T's. So I'm gonna do everything that I can, but I'm gonna do it right. I'm not just gonna tell you what you wanna hear. I don't work that way. In order to do so though, I need to complete a file. So I'm going to pull your credit. I'm going to run the numbers. I'm gonna do a comp check to make sure your property value is intact. Wait, are you gonna pull up a copy of my credit report? I am, yeah. Uh, is this going to take a hit on my score? Depends. Did you pull your credit already this year? Uh, no. Okay, cool. Every year you're entitled one free one. Gotcha. Okay. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Got it. The magic happened when I spit to you. You're all, hey, I'm going to this meeting, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. Here's my concern. You're living check to check. 
You got a $150,000 equity line. Your wife don't like your home. So she's probably bugging you all day. Like we need a new kitchen. Mm -hmm. You have to be empathetic to them. Yeah, you kind of got to be personable. Not only that, but when I do a second call close and I speak to your wife, I'm going to say those things. Exactly. You bring it back up. And she's going to want it. So even though, you, buy off yeah, even though I pitch you and let's say I don't convert you, when I hang up the phone with you, it's the wife saying, yeah, but we do need a new sink, babe. Oh, yeah, we do need a new kitchen, babe. He made a lot of good points, babe. We are living check to check, babe. And boo-boo, you don't really got 20 grand. You got two grand. 